Hello, everybody. Let me introduce you to two new artists that we are going to get some inspiration from today to start our next project. First artist here, this is his work of art. His name is Christoph Niemann. He is an artist who is still alive today and still making artwork today. He call, we call him a contemporary artist. So in his work of art right here, it might remind you of what we just did in our sketchbook. If you notice something interesting about his work, um, what he actually does is he takes real objects like this comb and he combines them with drawings to create a funny work of art. So how does he do this? Well, what he does is he actually takes objects that he finds in his house like a comb. He places them down on his white paper and he has to try and look at what does the object remind me of? He might have to flip his paper a few times, flip the object around and really look with his eyes for a few minutes. And then once he thinks he's got it, he takes his markers and he adds drawing details to create this object into something else. So this is obviously a comb, it's not a car, but he knew that he could turn the comb into a car. So he made a funny work of art out of just one object plus a drawing. So let's take a look at a few more of his works of art. Here's another one. Um, I showed you this work of art last year and if you notice this object, it kind of reminds me of a mosquito. So let's kind of break it down here. This object right in the middle looks like a real object. It looks like headphones that you would plug into um, an iPad. So he put these headphones down on his paper and he noticed that it reminded him of kind of like bug eyes. So he decided to add some big wings with his markers, some legs, and he thought, this kind of looks like a mosquito mouth. So I'm gonna add some little blood drips down there. So he turned this into a funny work of art with his object and his drawing. Here's another one. This one's kind of simple because it's just a pair of scissors. We have scissors in our classroom. We could do the same type of thing. He noticed that it kind of reminded him of legs. So he drew a woman up here reading a book. Another artist who does the same type of work, his name is Javier Perez. He's also alive and making work today and he makes the same type of funny works of art. He found these two clothespins in his house and he put them down on his paper and he said they remind me of little crab hands. So he drew a crab down below. Let's look at a couple more of his works of art. I really like this one and the reason why is because he just started with two little toothpicks and his hands and he thought, hmm, I think I could turn these toothpicks into drumsticks. So he drew the drumsticks on his white paper. He picked up his little sticks and put his hands in the picture and he had a friend take a photograph for him. So each time these artists are making drawings and they're putting their objects inside, they're also taking a photograph of their work. So they are drawing artists, but they're also photography artists. So photographers take pictures of works of art. That's how they create their work. Here's another one. It's kind of a two-part drawing plus photographs. He had two pennies on his table and he thought, hmm, I could add a boy with an ice cream cone looking like he's dropping his ice cream on the floor. So that's a two-part drawing. So today we are going to get some inspiration from these artists to create our own works of art that are a combination of a real object that we find in the classroom, plus a drawing, plus a photograph. So this is a printed photograph of a second grader, or a third grader rather, who created this work of art, and they used a pair of scissors from the classroom and a marker to add some details to turn these scissors into a shark. So here's how we're gonna start, boys and girls. You are going to find an object, and I have a whole bin of objects, or you can find something in the classroom. Second, after you find your object, you need to get a piece of white paper. This will be your background where you'll draw your details on. I have big and small papers. I suggest using a big one so that you have a lot of area to add your drawing to. So place your object down on your paper, and then you'll have to get a pencil or marker. If you wanna start with pencil, that's fine, but later you'll have to outline your drawing with marker so that it will show up in the photograph. So I'm just gonna start with marker here. And I think what this student did is they just carefully drew around the object And they thought that this reminded them of a shark. So these are actually the shark teeth, but I'm gonna add a couple more teeth up here. I have to be careful not to move my object around too much 
And if I do, I have to line it back up in the spot that it needs to go. Okay, and I think they added a person down here. I'm gonna flip my paper around so that I can continue drawing this and I can flip it the other way when I'm ready to take my photograph. He's gonna have a really scared face because he's swimming in the ocean and he's gonna have some bubbles coming out of his mouth. And he's trying to swim away really, really fast so that he doesn't get caught by the shark. Okay, so I think this looks great. I think I'm gonna keep adding some details though to make this really a complete finished work of art. So I can keep adding some details to the boy. Um, I can add some more details to the shark, like maybe a big eye. Maybe some bubbles coming from the shark. Maybe there's some seaweed down below. Maybe there's some fish. Okay, I think that looks finished. If I wanna get my markers and also add some color to this, I can add some color to this as well, or I can keep it black and white.